Glossy finish, shining bright in language and life. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, glossy finish. This term is often used in various contexts, from photography to furniture, and understanding its nuances can really polish your English skills. Let's dive in and explore what makes a glossy finish so special. Glossy finish refers to a surface quality that is shiny and smooth, often reflecting light. Imagine the surface of a calm lake on a sunny day, or the sleek body of a new car. That's the kind of shine we're talking about. This term is often used in the context of photographs, paper, paint, and even fabrics. In everyday language, glossy finish isn't just about physical objects. It can also describe something metaphorically polished or refined. For instance, a glossy finish presentation means it's well-prepared and visually appealing. Similarly, when someone has a glossy finish personality, it suggests they have a polished, charming demeanor. To fully grasp glossy finish, it's helpful to understand its opposite, matte finish. While a glossy finish is shiny and reflective, a matte finish is dull and non-reflective. It's like comparing a shiny apple to a soft peach. Both have their unique appeal and uses, depending on the context and preference. Let's break down the pronunciation. Glossy sounds like gloss ee. -E with a soft S sound. Finish, the emphasis is on the first syllable, fin-ish, similar to finish line. And that wraps up our journey through the shiny world of glossy finish. Whether you're describing a photo's sheen or adding a touch of metaphorical polish to your conversations, this phrase is a versatile addition to your English vocabulary. Keep practicing, and remember, Every learning experience adds a glossy finish to your language skills.